Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that I have not uploaded lately. I miss you guys terribly. So to make up for that, I'm doing a very special video today. This is going to be a swatch of my entire collection of NYX lip products. Well, not really. I have three others that you've already seen from my eye mattes haul, but this is going to be just my collection of the matte lipsticks. Amazon was having this crazy sale a few months ago for all 36 of the colors, or however many there are, uh, and it was only, I think, like $50 or something like that. It was crazy. Uh, so I picked up all of them, so I'm going to be showing those to you today. So let's get started. I have like... Oh. And I am sipping on my Robex Tropicale smoothie today. If you guys are from the tri-state area, you will know Robex. I don't think they have this on the west coast. But it's basically the same thing as Jamba Juice. But that also might be just a east coast thing as well. I'm not sure. Whatever the equivalent to a healthy smoothie franchise in California would be, that's what Robex is to us. This is the Tropicale. It has pineapple, apple, apple juice, orange juice, kale, and ice. And it's delicious. Okay, so let's get right into these lip products. The first two that I'm going to show you guys are Euro Trash and Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary is a very deep-toned fuchsia. It has more of a purple undertone to it than a pink undertone. It's very pretty. It's great to pair if you wanted to have just a simple cat eye and have the attention drawn to the lips and not too much going on with the eyes. This would be a great color to use. Euro Trash is just a mauve nude. It's more on the grayish pink side with a brown undertone to it. Right here is Euro Trash. This is the more mauve toned nude pink and the top one is Bloody Mary and that is again the more fuchsia but more purple toned fuchsia than a hot pink. The next color is Perfect Red which as I'm sure you can guess from the name is just a deep red color. It's a little more of a blue toned red than a orange toned red or like a Ferrari colored red but it's a very very pretty red and it's a great statement color if you wanted to do a very vintage like Gatsby look or if you wanted to do a pretty pinup. Maybe not a pinup because those are those tend to be a little bit more on the orange or brighter red tones than the deeper reds but it's a really pretty color if you wanted to wear it to a special event and you could leave it matte or top it with a gloss. The next color that I have to show you is Shocking Pink and it looks like this. This is a bright fuchsia and I will swatch that for you. It's very, very bright. All of these colors are very pigmented as well and they're very creamy and they're just gorgeous. This color is stunning. So let me show you guys. This one right here is perfect red and as you can see it's just a very deep toned red and this one is shocking pink. The next two are Alabama and Hippie Chic. Alabama is a very deep red wine color. This would be great for a vampy look or for a dramatic, again, you could do a pinup with it or a 1980s, not 1980s, 1920s or a great Gatsby look. It's very similar to the perfect red, but it's a little bit darker. It has more blue and almost like a brown undertone to it. And then this, Hippie Chic, is just your Barbie pink nude. This one right here is Alabama, and as you can see, it is very similar to the perfect red, but it's a little bit deeper. And then this here is the Hippie Chic, which is that very pale nude pink. The next two colors are both nude colors. This is natural here, and it is, it's just a berry, it's like a berry color with a brown undertone to it, and it, when it comes off, it's more like your natural lip color, which it should, it's called natural. My son, which is the second color, this one right here, it's just a brown. It's a brown lipstick. If you're into brown lipstick, you could pull this off. It's really great. I personally, it doesn't look good on my skin tone. So this one is my son, and this is the brown nude color. And again, it's a very deep brown. It's kind of muddy almost. It would only look good on certain skin tones or for a certain look. 
I definitely would not wear that every day. And then this one is natural right here. And as you can see, it is a more pink toned neutral, but with a slight brown undertone. And it's not quite coming out on camera, but it's very close to a natural lip color, which it should, as it's called natural. The next two colors that we are going to talk about are Whipped Caviar and Indie Flick. So these two are one of two of my favorite colors out of all the ones that I own. Indie Flick is this beautiful, just orange. It, it's it, it's orange, but it's a stunning orange. It's not too yellow tone where it can make your lips look a little bit sickly. It's just it's the perfect amount of red and coral mixed together where it just makes this. Ugh, you'll have to see it. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. That's That color is just stunning. The second color is Whipped Caviar. Whipped Caviar is very similar to Natural if it didn't have the brownness to it. It's very similar to your own lip color and it looks great when you top it with a nude lip gloss or a pink tone lip gloss. So this is Indie Flick, that perfect orange color without being too fire truck orange. And I don't know if it's coming out quite right, but it's just, ugh, it's the most beautiful color. And then this here is, what is this one? Whipped Caviar. This is Whipped Caviar. As you can see, it's very similar to the natural color, but it has a little bit more of a deeper pink color to it, and it's very, very pretty. Oop, had to open the blinds. We were running out of light. So the next two colors that I'm going to talk about are Merlot and Tea Rose. Tea Rose is my favorite color out of the entire, entire thing. And this is Merlot, which is a beautiful, just deep wine, but without that really dark redness of wine. It ha it retains more of like the grape color that wine would have. So it looks like that. Again, Tea Rose, my favorite color out of the entire bunch. As you can see, it's all stubbly and whatnot. I use it a lot when I do looks. It looks like this. So this one right here is Merlot, and as you can see, it's just that really beautiful, deep wine color. And this one here is Tea Rose, which is almost like the same color if you took out some of the redness in it. They pair very well next to each other, actually, now that I'm seeing it. So you could do kind of like an ombre with those two, but they're very beautiful and I love them. We are almost at the end. Sorry, this is so long. Okay, so next two are Pale Pink and Angel. Angel is a, I can't even describe this color. It's like a rose with, uh, it's like a strawberry color with, it. no, that's what it looks like. It looks like raspberry sorbet. Pale Pink is a just really, really Barbie pink color. It's one of the most pigmented nudes that I've seen swatched on YouTube or out of any collection that I've tried at Sephora, um, which is really surprising because NYX products are quite affordable and very inexpensive, but that being said, it's quite hard to get high color payoff from very pale colors, but this pink is just so pigmented and it's so creamy. It reminds me actually a lot of Lauren Curtis, a little bit the color because she wears a lot of nude lipstick and it looks so great on her and this color it just, I don't know, it screams out Lauren Curtis to me. So this one is the pale pink. So as you can see, all of these aren't quite 100% matte. They have a slight sheen to them, but I kind of enjoy that. They're a little bit less drying than I would have expected. But again, it's just a very nude, pale pink with a more white tone to it than a red pink. And then this one is Angel, which is your raspberry sherbet color. The next two colors are Audrey and Strawberry Daiquiri. Strawberry Daiquiri is my second favorite color in the entire set. It's a very beautiful brick color. It does look like strawberry, like a strawberry paste. It's very pretty and creamy, and it looks really good if you pair it with a more orange toned pink lip gloss right on top and oh it just gives the most beautiful effect and if you top that with a little bit of just gold eyeshadow or a luminizer right on the center of your lip it's the most beautiful effect and audrey is i'm assuming named after audrey hepburn and it is just a very stark pink and it has a 
sort of purpley undertone, but not quite. So this is Audrey, the pink, and this is Strawberry Daiquiri, the very brick red strawberry color. All right, last four, guys. We're getting close. The next two colors are Butter and Summer Breeze. Butter is a lighter version of my Sewn. It's a brown toned matte lipstick. I don't really like this color that much. I don't really see myself using it. If this had been a cream eyeshadow, however, I would have fallen in love with this color. It's fantastic. I may use it for that. I mean, I don't really know what the difference is. There's probably quite a bit of difference, but whatever. And the other color, Summer Breeze, is a very bright pink. And this is a really fun color. It reminds me of the Pink Panther a little bit, but not as pastel, like just a truer pink. So this is Summer Breeze, the color that reminds me of the Pink Panther. And then this is Butter. And the last two colors, we're all done, guys, is Sierra and Sweet Pink. So Sweet Pink is, as you would guess, a bright pink. Now, my problem with this set is my idea of a pink is, I don't know, it, it's like Juicy Couture pink, like that signature pink color, or, uh, I don't know, like a pink. These are all fuchsias. The colors that they say sweet pink or like pale pink or all those pink named colors, they're very fuchsia toned. So I would have liked to have seen a few more true pinks in this range of, in this line of matte lipsticks, but Again, they are very affordable, and I understand that pinks are quite hard to do a lot of the time. So for what you're getting, it's not too bad. But anyway, that was Sweet Pink. This is Sierra. It's very similar to Strawberry Daiquiri, but it's a little bit different. They're the same freaking color. No way. Okay, look at this, guys. So this one right here is Sweet Pink. As you can see, it's not really pink. It's a fuchsia color. This here is, this is Sierra. And then this is Strawberry Daiquiri at the top of my arm. I just drew a line to connect them. If there's any difference between them, I can't see it. So they're exactly the same color. If you're going to buy this set, just buy one of the two. Personally though, I would buy Strawberry Daiquiri because it's just a cuter name. I know this video was very long, but the reason that I wanted to go over all these products with you was I just wanted to show you guys what a huge color range you can get from a brand that is quite affordable without having to spend tons and tons of money. You saw the swatches, the color payoff is incredible on these products. Yes, the colors may be quite similar to each other, whereas in higher end brands you get a wider variation between colors. But I mean, realistically, the price that I paid for all of these combined would be equivalent to or less than one, say, Tom Ford lipstick or equivalent to a Chanel or a YSL lipstick. I mean, it's just insane how expensive certain products are when you can buy other products that are so much more affordable, try out so many more colors and experiment with different looks, and then go buy the high-end products in your favorite colors. That's what I truly believe you have to do with makeup. I don't know if I've ever touched base on this with you guys, but when I first started doing makeup, all I could afford was drugstore products. I also was very young at the time, so I couldn't be like, hey mom, can you take me to the Chanel counter when I was in middle school, you know? All of my skills, all of my knowledge that I have in terms of my makeup application started at the drugstore. So it is really my firm belief that you don't need to start out with high-end products. You don't need to watch a YouTube video and see a girl using the ambient lighting palette and then feel like you have to go buy that or you can't buy any highlighter at all. That's not true. There are so many great products out there that you can use for many purposes. You could even use your favorite gold shimmery eyeshadow for a highlighter. So that being said, don't feel pressured to go out and buy all of the new colors from the Riri Mac, Riri Mac collection or whatever you wanted to buy. You could easily spend half that much and get tons of products and try out new things and then when you find your favorite colors, then go buy them in higher end products. So yeah, guys, that's my little word of advice for the day. I hope you enjoyed watching this again, and to make up for all of the lost time that I had with not doing videos and not keeping up with them recently, I am going to, I'm going to absolutely dedicate so much more of my time to making videos once summer starts and I'm done with finals and everything. Just two more weeks of school, guys, and then I'm all yours. So. Be ready, lots of fun stuff to come this summer. But to hold you over until then and to make up for the lost time, 
I will be doing my absolute best to find this entire collection again on Amazon to gift to one of you guys. I will be announcing it in a later video if I am able to find it again. I think it was a like a special sale, but if it wasn't, if it wasn't a special sale and I can just buy all 36 of them again in a collection and send it to one of you, I will absolutely do that. So that will be announced in my next video. I will catch you guys later and thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And yeah, bye.